All right, guys, welcome to TTFG finally on YouTube. And our first thing is nachos, fully loaded nachos. <laughs> I remember actually when I was in school, me and my mates after GCSEs, we used to go back to my mate's house. Remember Satch? Yeah, yeah, he um, he used to make like bless him, it was <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> he used to make these nachos, but they used to bang, they were like they had like cheese, yeah, and yeah. they just cheese. So what we have here, it's a five step process we're doing today. We've got some very brown looking meat. I mean, yeah, it is red inside, but it's just been sitting out for a while. Um, this is beef. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute some vegetables. This is peppers and onions mixed together. And then add a few spices here to try and make it taste a bit chili-ish, yeah. as they say. We're gonna simmer that for about an hour and then we're gonna work on a few other things. So the few other things that we're gonna work on uh, guacamole from uh, do you remember Austin Powers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you have fully laid nachos, it's like a salsa verde. I think salsa, yeah, salsa verde, verde, yeah, verde yeah. isn't it? That's just quite easy. It's going to be like a two-minute thing. We're also going to make our own nacho cheese. The cheese is in the fridge, so I'll show that when we actually do it. And lastly, sour cream, but that I just bought from Waitrose. Mm -hmm. I know people are going to judge me. I bought from Waitrose, but how do you make sour cream though? I actually don't know. I think. Uh, I don't know, don't ask me, I have no <laughs> idea. So, uh, let's get cracking. So in with the peppers and the onions. Oh! <laughs> you can see it looks a little bit easier on TikTok. Uh, yeah. You guys on the... Yeah, because if you guys haven't seen, I actually do have a TikTok. Um, they got quite a good bit of traction at the beginning of coronavirus, and then I think everyone kind of got tired of TikTok. Yeah. So yeah. I thought... It's gone. I got tired of TikTok, actually, yeah. to be honest. So I thought the best thing to do to be to transfer it to YouTube. Technically, I am a YouTuber, I think. You are, but starting. That's how we get to a million followers after a year. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is just a, a more posh version of, of nachos and what Satchin would usually make. Yeah, no, but Sa Satchin's probably posher than me now, to be honest. I mean, he he's Canadian, so... Can well, yeah, Canadian. He's Indian as well, so we used to call him Canadian. <laughs> Satch, if you're watching this, I know you follow me as well on, on Instagram. Uh, I know you're going to want a shout out, so I'll probably put a picture up of your face somewhere. <laughs> but <I'm> now. <laughs> yeah. You see the onions here. Yeah. You see they're going a bit transparent. That's yeah. when you know they softened up to a good level. And I'm going to add the beef, the brown looking beef. Nothing wrong with brown. <laughs> well, since we are brown. <laughs> so this. We're gonna saute as well with the vegetables for probably a good five minutes. So we're gonna add some chili, coriander, cumin, oregano. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a strange one, but my mum actually taught me that. S and P, I call it. Salt and pepper. This is tin tomatoes here. Probably about half a cup to a three quarters of a cup in there. The best. Ch Cholula. I should know the yeah, brand. It's yeah. my favourite. Cholula hot sauce. Chipotle hot sauce. Again, the not too spicy one because I'm a bit of a wet wipe with the spice. But these are kidney beans, so a couple of spoonfuls just to give it another kind of texture when we're biting into it. All right, so I'll give that a stir. Look at that. Unbelievable. Already looks like a chili and it's yeah, basically it raw. I'll do it in the middle, an hour and 15. Yeah. So the lid goes on. And I'm going to put it from a medium heat to a kind of medium low heat. And we're going to crack on with the guacamole. One avocado, the quarter of an onion, one tomato, a few chili flakes, S&P, salt and pepper, and the squeeze of lime. And we're going to give that a stir. Don't blame me, guys, if you make this and your breath stinks of onion and your partner just 
decide to leave you or something. So we'll get back to it when we're loading the nachos. Yeah. And it's salsa time, salsa verde time, actually. So this is the, this is one tomato. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a red onion. Sometimes white, I think white onions usually use actually, it's just I ran out of white onion today. We'll pop that in there. We're gonna have a bit of lime. Do limes have seeds, by the way? No, I have never Because I was thinking about this this morning. Because whenever I cut it, there's nothing in there. I don't think they do. Look, I don't. I literally don't have seeds anywhere. No seeds. I thought it was like a lemon. Yeah, I thought it was like a lemon. That's mad. To this, I add pepper, salt, and chili flakes. And there's a recurring theme in everything we made today. They've had chili flakes in everything. Spice. Yeah, 100%. And we'll give that just a stir. You can add, which I'm not going to, a bit of water, about a tablespoon of water, because salsa is meant to be quite liquidy, but as you can see, there, there's quite a lot of liquid. Same as before, we're gonna pop that in the fridge. Let's get started on the nacho cheese. But first, we're actually gonna check on the chili. And lastly, the nacho cheese. So make sure you do this five minutes before you're about to serve because otherwise the cheese becomes quite clumpy. So what we're gonna do is quickly turn this on a two, which is kind of a medium low. Add a tablespoon of butter. And a tablespoon of flour, same flour. You see this thickness from the flour? That's gonna help the cheese, the nacho cheese, become thick as well. That's what we want. So when that's all incorporated, we're gonna add half a cup, around half a cup, of whole full fat milk now. And what we want here, is to get a simmer from the milk. So it's got a nice thickness. What we want to do, we want to turn off the cooker completely. Then we have a handful of cheese here. So it, this is about one and a half cups, but we'll do it handful by handful. Otherwise it will thicken up too quickly, which is what we don't want. So you automatically get a nice creamy texture. And get the lumps out before you add any more cheese. And stir. There you go. Look at that. That's what you want. The complete creaminess. We're going to add a tiny bit of chilli. Mild chilli. Just give it a bit of a tang. And then... Salt. And after this... We'll assemble. Two bags of nachos. We'll go first with the chili. So we'll put the we'll put the chili in little pockets of the nachos. So we want to spread it out a good amount. So every bite has a bit of chili in. <laughs> Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Not, not my favourite, but I will try it for this video. Also, I want a squeeze of lime. A few sprigs of coriander. 
out and about. The guacamole. Again, we're going to put it in the pockets. The pockets where there aren't any chili. But the colour on this is really good, isn't it? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of vibrancy here. Put a little bit of this salsa in pockets as well. We have Waitrose sour cream because I don't know how to make sour cream. <laughs> You always find, because we have a lot of chilli in this whole, you can call it a meal or a feast. Yeah. Sour cream is the perfect balance. You want to get that even on the edge bits, because the edge bits which haven't been touched by any of the, the goodness. And we're nearly done. Look at that. What do you guys think? Oh, there you have it. It's nice. tuck into this this looks absolutely unbelievable all right let's go for this bit get a bit of that guacamole sour cream i don't know how i'm gonna eat all of this yeah this, right? this is gonna be this is a lot i'll get a bit of that cheese as well i mean i'm gonna eat a jalapeno for the viewers there you go that looks like a decent bite let's go <laughs> oh my god. It's a good. How's the cheese? Wow. <laughs> Mark weed. <laughs> it sounds like Mark weed. Yeah. Whoa. Seriously, if you want a good balance of flavours chili, lime, um, guacamole with a bit of spice from the jalapenos. That wasn't even spicy. No. Though. Yeah, I told you. That is a game changer. So try it. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment down below if uh, you have any other suggestions. Thank you for tuning in to TTFG's first YouTube video. I look forward to making more content next time.